In this week's video, I'll be giving you guys some tips on how to make your drumsticks last longer. So if you're into saving a bit of money, I'll stick around. Stick, <laughs> stick around, get it? Because you're talking about drumstick. Uh. <clears throat> What's up everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you're doing well. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe because I put out videos like this all the time. Handy little tips, tricks and tutorials. As I mentioned, today we're gonna to be talking specifically about drumsticks and how we can make sure to maintain them and make them last longer. So, here we go. Tip number one, don't buy cheap drumsticks, okay? The cheap drumsticks are just not made very well and they, they don't weigh the same plus the wood quality is, isn't as good, so they're gonna chip away faster and they won't last as long, and you'll probably end up spending the same amount of money on them as you would buying a decent pair of drumsticks that would last twice as long. So just cut out the middleman and buy decent drumsticks. Tip number two is technique. Now, I'm guilty of this totally. When I first started drumming, I thought there was nothing cooler than having my cymbals super high and super flat. Uh, and that's just not a good idea. <laughs> yes, it looks really cool, but not only is that gonna crack away at your nice expensive cymbals, it's also gonna chip away at your drumsticks really fast, and then you're gonna wonder why you're going through them like every gig. It's because they're so high and flat, it's like just chipping away at a bit of wood with a bit of metal, it's gonna happen, right? So here's the sacrifice. Bring your cymbals down just a little bit, angle them towards you just a little bit, and instead of hacking away at the side of the cymbal like this, make sure to play through the cymbal and just make sure your overall technique when striking the cymbals is a lot better and that will make your sticks last a lot longer. Finally, tip number three is something that I do and I call it the marking system. So I've got three different grades of used drumstick. Grade one is basically not used at all, anywhere from brand new to a bit used. Grade two is kind of used a couple gigs in and grade three is, these are a bit iffy now, they're on their way out, I probably won't use them after the next gig or two. Now the way that I do this is on the butt of the stick, uh, I put a dot for grade one, two dots for grade two, and then an X for grade three. The X is basically, you know, don't go there unless you have to. And then when you look down at your stick bag, you can easily grab two sticks with the same grading system, so two with one dot or two with two dots, and you know that you're always gonna be getting sticks that match. That way you can keep them on rotation. So what I do is I don't use a fresh set of drumsticks at every single show. I'll use sticks sort of in rotation. So I'll use them for two or three shows, once they're worn out a bit, I'll put the two dots on, then I'll go to a fresh pair, worn out, put the dots on, and then I'll start cycling through the ones with dots and make sure that I'm just getting the longest lifespan out of all of the sticks possible. So there we go, that is my three tips on how to prolong the life of your drumsticks. I hope you find them really useful. And also let me know if you've got any of your own tips. You can let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to get back to all of you and let you know my thoughts on your tips. And then we can share, because sharing equals game. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in guys. There's some more tutorial videos on the channel. There'll be a card up here with all of those on there and obviously the end screen. You can stick around for that to get some videos suggested to you. But as you know, we do videos here every Friday. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new because all of that stuff really helps. We don't just say it for no reason. Don't just say it for no reason. Is that a double negative? I'm not sure. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. If any of you are gigging, make sure to trial this stick method and you can also let me know how that goes. But whew, thanks so much for watching and as per usual, whatever you're doing today, go out and smash it.